Several people on our side of the political divide have spoken out about the recent insane hysterical treatment of Morrissey. Uh, he wore a For Britain badge on an American TV show and the whole world went crazy. It was all over the mainstream media. Morrissey was now a supporter of far-right fascist, blah, blah, blah. But what I notice is that people on our side of the divide, like leave, pro-leave groups, for example, or anti-mass migration campaigners, have strangely ignored the For Britain element of this story. Some of them have said that Morrissey got into trouble because he's pro-Brexit. Others have said that he got into trouble because he opposes halal slaughter. Now, both of those things are true, but let me just remind those uh, commenters that it actually is for Britain that he supports. That's why he got into trouble. Yes, he's pro-Brexit, so are we, and yes, he's anti-halal, and therefore he supports the only party that really cares about halal, and that will actually stop it, and that isn't John on a bandwagon. So just to clear it up for you all, Morrissey got into trouble because he supports For Britain. He has long supported For Britain. He has supported us since day one. He supported me in the UKIP leadership election. This isn't just about Brexit or halal. Morrissey was the hy hysterically attacked, even had a billboard advertising his latest album taken down by Mersey Rail, the usual nonsense response from the loony left. But this was because he supports For Britain. Just a reminder, Morrissey supports for Britain. So the next time people on our side, or apparently on our side, uh, want to comment on this, don't forget to add that salient fact. We're not invisible. I know we embarrass many of you by telling the truth that you know to be true, uh, but you haven't got the courage to say it. But pretending we're invisible won't make it so. Again, Morrissey is in trouble because Morrissey supports for Britain. Thank you, Morrissey.